हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर टीना थॉमस ऑब्सिट्रिशन एंड गायनाकोलॉजिस्ट बैंगलोर प्री मेनोपॉसल मेनोरेजिया इज इन इट अ बिग टॉपिक सो प्री मेनोपॉसल मेनोरेजिया दैट इज एक्सेसिव ब्लीडिंग फर्स्ट थिंग इज टू फाइंड आउट एनी ऑर्गेनिक कॉज फॉर दैट ब्लीड सो वी हैव टू डू स्कैन्स हॉर्मोनल टेस्ट एंड अदर थिंग्स टू रूल आउट that there is no abnormalities in the uterus which can be an adenomyosis or a fibroid uterus or uh, any hormonal changes or patient using any other hormones as such so first thing is basically investigate the patient to find out what is the cause for it if there is no organic cause there if there is an organic cause like fibroid submucous fibroid or anything you have to deal with it you have to remove the submucous fibroid depending on what is it or if she is just reaching the menopause hold on with some hormones so if a organic cause is find, found out you treat the organic cause but if there is no organic cause for the menor pre menopausal pre menopausal menorrhagia then first thing is to see if the endometrial lining is not very thickened then if the endometrial lining is thickened you need to send a small opd related biopsy which is done in opd basis for pupil biopsy you do a pupil biopsy to be sure that the endometrial thickness is not related to any risk of future cancers if they are not then forget about everything then just deal with the heavy bleeding so two things organic causes and endometrial biopsy once these two are done we just have to deal with heavy bleeding now the first line of treatment for heavy bleeding will be just non hormonal tablets including mefenamic acid or tranexamic acids and like that the second line of treatment being hormones where you use a combination of estrogen progesterone or you can use strain progesterone the third uh, treatment for uh, third line of treatment is uh, intrauterine device with progesterone hormone so i it's, it's an intrauterine device a small t shaped thing with a progesterone in it so you put it inside lng progesterone is used and every day 20 micrograms of and uh, levonorgestrel progesterone is released so they keep the uterus protected and the bleeding comes down very minimal so that was the third line of treatment the fourth line is in case if all these three doesn't work out and then you have to go in for a surgery surgically can be just uh, ablating the uterus or uh, 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 or finally landing up into a hysterectomy so there are different lines of treatment so as on date the our all um, criteria is to save the uterus and not to remove the uterus unless and otherwise it is not possible to keep it there so save the uterus is the first thing and so for that all these lines of treatment can be appropriately used and plenty of counseling need to be done